Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have another Bonita collection to review today. This time it's the basic brand. It's not the Bonita Salon. It's the little bottles that look like this. So they actually retail for $1.49. And for me, for some reason at Rite Aid, they kind of knock the price down even more. So usually I get them for like $1.20 a piece. So I'm going to insert a picture really quick here of what the display looks like in case you are going to hunt this out. Alright, so now that you kind of know what to look for, I'm going to read to you, it's, the collection I think is called Turk It. So it's like turquoise, like how that word starts being spelled, Turk It is the name of the collection. And it does have a shade that has that same name. And on the collection it says, gotta have it, paint it, flaunt it. And then they actually have right on their um, display that they are... Um, DBP, toluene, and formaldehyde free. So that's nice. I have mentioned that before that these are free of those, but they're putting it on their display now. So basically this collection has six cream polishes in really nice, bright, fun colors. They're not neon. They're just bright and pretty. So um, we're going to run through them really quick today. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Basically, I enjoyed this collection. I thought this was a um, thumbs up for Bonita. Sometimes, um, I feel like their less expensive polishes can be kind of hit or miss, but I thought that they all did a great job in two coats. I'm trying to look here and remember if some of these have shimmer or not. I think one of these has a little tiny bit of shimmer, but otherwise they're all just straight up creams. There is one that I have to not suggest to you because it did stain my nails, but besides that, I think that they were all great. Let me tell you what is on my lips. Today I'm wearing a Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick from e.l.f. This is in the shade Pink Umbrellas. And that's it there. It's just a really sheer um, little moisture. It's not really, I wouldn't call it moisturizing. It's just, um, it's very emollient. I, wouldn't, I can't say that this definitely moisturizes your lips. It's just very comfortable to wear. Very smooth, just a tiny little bit of color. And I think these are pretty inexpensive, so... Anyway, that's what that is. Okay, so we'll start with the polish that's on my nails. It's this purple shade here. I actually really love this color. Um, I'm sure that I have quite a few polishes in my collection that are probably this exact same shade, but I really love purple polish, so I never really regret buying a purple. This is called Purr in Purple, so like purr like a kitty. Purr in Purple, and I think it's great. It, it's nice and smooth in two coats. It's glossy when you apply it. You don't even really need a top coat here. And yeah, I think it's pretty. So let me show you. Right, there are two pinks in this collection. The lighter of the two is called Kissable Fairy. Um, it's just a pretty basic pink. It has just a tiny bit of peach in it for me because pinks are usually a pass if they're not something super, super special. Um, I wasn't really like crazy in love with this or anything, but that's just because of my color preference. It is nice at two coats, so let me show you.
Alright, the next pink is called Pretty in Pink, and it's a little bit dustier of a rosy pink, and for that reason that I preferred it actually to the one that I just showed you before this. Same nice formula though. Actually, I really did like this once it was on. I'm remembering now that as I'm looking at it. Um, I think it's a flattering shade, but um, anyway, let me show you how it swatches. The next shade is this peachy shade, and I thought this was going to be Hostess with the Mostess. It's a polish that they have promoted already in two different displays, but this one's actually called Flower Child. It is very similar to Hostess with the Mostess, though. This is just a slightly a little bit warmer, um, but it's a nice two-coater, so if you were looking for something like this. sour note so let me talk to you about the polish that I feel like you should steer clear of just because there are a lot of polishes out there in the polish world that look just the same as this this is a gorgeous turquoise shade but it stained my nails so whenever that happens I just kick it out this is called Turk it with an exclamation point on the end just like the name of the collection this was great in two coats I was in love with it and then I went to take it off and I was like wah, wah, wah. So it's just really not worth it to me when a polish stains my nails. So I don't recommend this one, but let me show you. Last up, they gave us this super pow green called Honey Do Your Thing. So that's cute. It's kind of like honeydew, but I feel like this is definitely brighter and yellower than a honeydew um, melon. But look how pretty and fun that color is. I thought this was a great addition to the collection. Just really brought some life into it. And this along with the purple, I think, um, go really well together. So let me show you how it swatches. guys so what did you think of the collection that was all six shades honestly for just a buck under under a buck 50 and even less if it's on sale um, using your Rite Aid wellness card or whatever it's called I thought that these were great 
I didn't have a problem with them. I think they look nice and glossy on. I didn't have any issues with formula, except for the one that's stained. Um, I can totally recommend these. So if you spot them and you think that you find some colors in there that look really cute, I would say snatch them up. And also, it seems like for just a buck fifty, even if you just grabbed all of them and put them in on a nice little, um, like gift set for somebody, like maybe even a, a younger female in your life that has a birthday coming up, I think that would be really fun because I think they all go really nicely together. They're great for summer and they're a lot of sweet little shades. So um, yes, I can recommend it to you. I hope that you don't have too much trouble finding this if you're looking for it. Again, like I said, I found it at Rite Aid and I think I spotted it probably about five days ago from when you're watching this. So um, yes, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit today. I hope you're having a really great one and I will see you back in my next review. Bye.